Could Leo Rush be the new leader of the X Division? Taya Valkyrie files a trademark for her name. The Super X Cup returns at Genesis. And Madison Rain decides she's leaving professional wrestling. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Could Leo Rush be the new leader of the X Division? Taya Valkyrie files a trademark for her name. The Super X Cup returns at Genesis. And Madison Rain decides she's leaving professional wrestling. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Just a reminder, I do have my own YouTube channel. Check it out, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. That's the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Check it out. Lots of great content on there. If you like what you hear from me on the Impact Lounge, hopefully you'll like what you hear from me on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. So check it out on YouTube, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network, and please hit that subscribe button. Okay, Leo Rush. Leo Rush on Instagram did something interesting, and this was on Tuesday uh, after after Impact Wrestling. Leo Rush posted a picture of himself on Instagram with the Impact Wrestling logo on the picture, and he wrote, he posted, should I go to Impact Wrestling? That's very interesting. Yes, he might have been trolling. He might have been joking around. It might have just been, you know, I'm going to mess around with uh, with the people of, uh, of social media. But then again, it could be that Leo Rush, after watching Impact Wrestling on Tuesday, realized that there's a lot of buzz going on right now with the AEW Impact Wrestling storyline. And maybe it's not such a bad idea for me to think about signing with Impact Wrestling. And... If Impact Wrestling was able to get Leo Rush, Leo Rush instantly would become the leader of the X Division. And let me tell you, he is definitely a leader of the X Division that Impact Wrestling could really use right now. They could really use. Getting Leo Rush would really be a nice shot in the arm for the X Division in Impact Wrestling. I know Leo Rush had a list of people that he wanted to face uh, when he returned to, returned to the ring. And Chris Bay was on that list. Yeah, granted, I'm sure a lot of people have seen that list. A lot of AEW guys are on that list as well. But Chris Bay is on that list. So he could come into Impact Wrestling and immediately get into a feud with Chris Bay. And that would be a great feud. They would have some classic matches, in my opinion. Chris Bay and Leah Rush, I think they would be fantastic matches. And from there, I would put the X Division title on him almost, almost immediately. He would, without a doubt, be the leader of the X Division. And I would keep that title on him for a long time. So could we see Leo Rush in Impact Wrestling? Anything's possible. Anything's possible. I think in 2021, with all the buzz that Impact Wrestling has right now with the AEW Impact Wrestling Partnership, I think they need to open up that vault and start bringing bigger names in. Uh, yes, I know I talked about they need to bring young talent in. And I'm going to talk about the young talent when we discuss uh, the Super X Cup, which is coming back. Uh, but Leo Rush, right now, Leo Rush is, is um, he's not signed with anybody. He's he's wrestling for MLW. He'll be taking on Myron Reed uh, in MLW. He's working for uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Doesn't have a contract, but he's working for various promotions. Impact Wrestling should jump on Leo Rush. They should open up the vault should open up the vault and sign Leo Rush uh, to a, a long-term contract. It would only benefit the X Division. It would make the X Division a lot more exciting. And we would have a true leader, a real leader. Not to take anything away from Rohit Raju or Chris Bay 
or or any of the any of the uh, or Manic or TJP, but Leo Rush, in my opinion, would be an absolute true leader of the X division if they were able to sign him and put that X division title on him. And it doesn't have to be an exclusive contract if he wants to wrestle for New Japan Pro Wrestling. I know the interest is there uh, for um, Leo Rush to to work for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Let him work for New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, same as the Good Brothers. Um, with the AEW Impact Wrestling Partnership, there's uh, a lot of possibilities for him in Impact Wrestling to wrestle AEW talent, you know, down the road. So, 2021, if they want to start getting serious, if they want to start getting, keep that buzz going, Impact Wrestling should do what they can to sign Leo Rush. He would be an absolute fantastic addition to Impact Wrestling, and nobody can deny that. Nobody can de deny that Leah Rush would not be a tremendous addition to Impact Wrestling. The main event was, was announced. A huge main event was announced for Hard to Kill. So it's going to be Kenny Omega, the Good Brothers, against, um, I should say, AEW champion, world champion Kenny Omega, the Good Brothers, Bullet Club Reunion against the Impact Wrestling World Champion, Rich Swan and the Motor City Machine Guns. A huge, huge main event. Huge main event that's uh, taking place at uh, Hard to Kill. So, how does how does a sportster how does a sportster um, celebrate this? Or how do, how how do they handle this huge news from from Impact Wrestling? This huge match that's coming up from Hard to Kill. Uh, how, how do they respond, I should say? They, they release an article, a negative article that reads that, that the, the article reads 10 times TNA Impact promised a big main event and didn't deliver. Okay, so they, they didn't say Impact. I edited Impact. So they, they're still calling them TNA. So 10 times TNA promised a big main event and didn't deliver. This is coming on the heels of the huge main event announced for Hard to Kill. And once again, the sports is showing their their bias towards Impact Wrestling. Huge main event. The buzz is there, and it's there. They're trying to kill the buzz by by releasing this article right on the heels, right like it was um two days after the the, the match was uh, announced. So it's like the sports the the people at the sports store got together and said, "How how are we gonna how are we gonna kill this buzz? The Impact Wrestling's getting too much buzz. So so what are we gonna do? How about we release an article?" Uh, and we'll let people know 10 times that TNA promised a big main event and didn't deliver. You know, how many times have the Sportster released an article about Impact Wrestling and they actually didn't deliver because it was just a crock of crap? Many, many times. And this is just another time. You know, they're, they're, they're calling, again, they're not even calling it Impact Wrestling. They're calling it TNA. So good job, Sportster. Nice, nice, nice try to, to kill some of the buzz that Impact Wrestling has right now. But, you know, it's not going to work. This is a huge main event. And despite your bias towards Impact Wrestling, uh, you're not going to uh, kill the buzz right now that Impact Wrestling is riding on and will keep riding on going into 2021. So I just wanted to point that out. All right, so let's, um, let's move on. Taya Valkyrie. Taya Valkyrie has filed a trademark for her name. Now, this is not good. This is not good. Because the last person that filed a trademark for the name that I can remember was EC3. And that was right before he left Impact to go to the WWE. So, all signs indicate that Taya Valkyrie will be leaving, <coughs> excuse me, and she will be going to the WWE. Because, you know, you go to the WWE, you can't retain your name. Once you go to WWE, they, they, they take control. They take control of the name. They take control of the character. So filing a trademark before she goes there is, is a smart thing. So again, all signs are pointed to her leaving Impact Wrestling at the end of the year, uh, which is right around the corner, and going to the WWE. That, that's, that's how I see this. I hope she doesn't. I hope she stays. I love Taya Valkyrie. I think she's fantastic in Impact Wrestling. Again, I'm just speculating. I'm not reading any reports or anything off the internet. This is all speculative on my part. I'm thinking the reason why she's doing that, again, is that she wants to leave Impact Wrestling and retain control of her character. Again, I hope I'm wrong, and I hope that she does stay with Impact Wrestling. Fingers crossed that they can work something out. A lot of people, a lot of contracts are coming due at the end of the year, so I'm, I'm, I'm checking every day. I'm checking every day to see if... If Impact Wrestling is making any signings, and it's it's 
It's 12-19. Now, I'm looking to see if they're retaining anybody, and nothing's really been officially announced. Um, I mean, there's Sammy Callahan, there's Ethan Page. And again, this is just going off the internet. I, I don't have any actual proof of this. This is not real news or anything like that. Uh, I'm... I'm I shouldn't say this is not real news, but this is just stuff I'm seeing off the internet. I have no inside information or anything like that. But off the internet, from what I'm reading, a lot of contracts. I'm not going to say any names because I, I, honestly, I don't. I don't. I'm just let's just say a lot of contracts appear to be coming up at the end of the year, and I hope to see a lot of retention for a lot of talent retention coming up for Impact Wrestling. So. We'll keep an eye. I keep checking every day to see if any, anyone signed. I know, I know it's rumored Ethan Page uh, is most likely leaving. Ethan Page, though, I don't know. It, it's tough to say with Ethan, Ethan Page because um, he did indicate online. It was an online report um, that he was talking to other promotions. But I'm thinking the Karate Man character was debuted on the last episode of Impact Wrestling. If if Ethan Page was actually leaving, why would they debut? new character why would they why would they take time to debut this new character um karate man if ethan page was in fact leaving so after seeing that i'm thinking maybe he's staying maybe there's a maybe there's a good shot that he's staying um but we'll see we'll see like i said i hope we hope um we see some reports coming up in the next few days or the next few weeks about talent retention um uh, by impact wrestling so we'll just keep an eye on that but but again one more time, Taya Valkyrie has filed um, a trademark for her name, and um, I'm sure she's going to get it, and she wants to retain control of the character. To me, to me, that just looks like all signs are pointing to her going to another promotion to the WWE and retaining control of her character. All right, Super X Cup is returning Super X Cup returning in Genesis at Genesis. Genesis, I believe, is January 9th. Um, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but Genesis, January 9th, Super X Cup. I'm not sure if it's going to be the full tournament at, at Genesis or if they're gonna have some matches. I hope it's the I hope it's the full um, the full tournament that they show at Genesis Genesis. I know one match has been announced already for Genesis. Uh, Moose against Willie Mack in a I quit match. The Super X Cup, as I'm looking here, looking at a um, Wrestling Inc. article, it, 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 it kind of does indicate that the that the entire Super X, uh, Super X Cup tournament will be taking place at Genesis, and it is January 9th. Uh, so it says here, uh, stars of the X Division battle to win the prestigious trophy uh, January 9th at Genesis. So it looks like that the entire tournament will be taking place at Genesis, which is cool. So I'm thinking the it's the Super X Cup, the whole tournament at Genesis with the one match main event, uh, Moose, the TNA World Heavyweight Champion Moose versus Willie Mack in an I Quit match. So you got to think, you start thinking who who's going to be participating? Who's going to be participating in the Super X Cup? I have a couple of names in mind that I would love to see. Love to see participate at the Super X Cup, and I hope they bring guys in, outside guys in, and they don't just use, you know, X Division uh, talent. I hope they sub. I hope they bring some guys in, guys that I have on my list. Uh, I would love to see Leo Rush. I mentioned Leo Rush earlier. To introduce Leo Rush to Impact Wrestling at the Super X Cup would be fantastic. Uh, ACH, who was at this, would be a tremendous uh, um, participant in the Super X Cup. Uh, I'm thinking Aiden Prince, Aiden Prince, Lee Moriarty uh, would be great. I'm thinking maybe bring someone in from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, I would say Clark Connors, uh, the young lion who um, was defeated by Chris Bay at the Super J Cup. A great talent. I would bring him, bring him in. There's another guy out there that I saw recently who is very, very talented that I would love for them to bring in. Uh, Danny Limelight. If you're not familiar with Danny Limelight, check him out. Very, very talented wrestler. Uh, I would love to see them bring Danny Limelight in. I know Dan Danny Limelight has made uh, some appearances on AEW. I believe AEW Dark, uh, but he's not signed with any contracts. So I would love to see them bring in like Danny Limelight. And there's a guy out in the Maritimes. Guy out in the Maritimes that not too many people know about. Uh, he's the Kaizen Pro Wrestling Champion. I'm a huge fan of this guy. His Kovi Christ is his name. Tremendous competitor competitor in the ring. He cuts a tremendous promo. Very, very talented. I think he would be a great addition to the Super X Cup. And he kind of falls under the radar because he's out in the Maritimes. And the Maritimes is pro wrestling's best hidden secret. 
and people need to start recognizing that there's a ton of talent out in the Maritimes and Kofi Christ right now is the leader in my opinion, in Maritimes wrestling, professional wrestling, the Kaizen Pro Wrestling Champion, he would be terrific in the Super X Cup as well. So I named a couple of names uh, that I would like to see in the Super X Cup. And uh, if you're listening right now, if you have a couple of names I didn't mention that you would like to see in the Super X Cup, feel free to put that in the comment section and let me know uh, who you think you would like to see in the Super X Cup. Now, I, if you didn't see the last episode of Impact Wrestling, and you didn't see the, the segments with Eric Young and Cody Diener. You have to stop what you're doing right now. You have to go onto YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not on YouTube, unfortunately, which is a mistake. Uh, but go to Twitter, type in Impact Wrestling, Eric Young, Cody Diener. It'll probably, the video will pop up. They show, uh, it was it was shown in like three different segments on Impact Wrestling. But if you go on Twitter, Impact Wrestling's Twitter page, you go to Impact Wrestling, you type in Cody Diener, uh, Eric Young, um, Impact Wrestling. If you take them all together, you probably could catch the video. The video will probably come up. Uh, they, 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 they put all three segments together as one full video, uh, and it's it's Eric Young baptizing Cody Diener into into changing, and it was just absolutely incredible. It was just a spec. The segments were just spectacular. I absolutely love these. This might have been the best thing that I've ever seen from Cody Diener. Not to take away from his great career, but this is the best thing that I've seen from Cody Diener. Cody Diener is going through a complete character overhaul. He's changing. It's just fantastic. And the way they did it was just phenomenal. You have to see this. And I, I'm looking forward to to what um, 2021 holds for, for Cody Diener, for this new character. I I would have guessed that Jake, uh, Cousin Jake would have, um, would have turned on Cody Diener, but this, this is just terrific absolutely terrific and now cousin jake will be solo i would drop cousin jake let him go to jake something let him be the jake something character on the indies he's fantastic i would go that route with uh, cousin jake but eric young cody diener and um joe doring um they're just going to be a, a fantastic a fantastic faction and, and again if you haven't seen it if you haven't seen the segments absolutely must see the segments with Eric Young and Cody Diener. They were absolutely spectacular. All right, so Madison Rain. Madison Rain has decided to leave professional wrestling. Madison Rain has decided to leave professional wrestling. She's stepping away from Impact Wrestling. She's stepping away from the from the uh, announce uh, table, and she's pursuing other interests outside of uh, professional wrestling. Now, this, again, I don't have... I, I haven't verified this. It's just stuff I'm reading online, so... Uh, it's it's I don't again I don't have inside information uh, I don't want to report this as 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 actual fact but this is something that I'm reading off the internet um, it indicates that Madison Rain has decided to step away and and um, pursue other interests outside of, of, of professional wrestling if that is in fact what she's doing I do wish her the best of luck she's been a tremendous asset to impact wrestling for a very very long time and uh, when it's time to induct the next person to the impact wrestling hall of fame madison rain without a doubt should be the leader of the group that they're considering to be in the impact wrestling hall of fame so again if in fact this is true and madison rain is leaving impact wrestling to pursue other interests i do wish her the best of luck and impact wrestling please induct madison rain into the impact wrestling hall of fame because she deserves it more than really anybody right now that I can think of that you would consider to put into the Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame. So absolutely put her in the Hall of Fame. And please put Matt Stryker on the announce team. Matt Stryker, Josh Matthews, they will make a, a great team. Um, I know there's there they, they indicate that they're looking for a replacement. Uh, as per this article, they're looking for a replacement uh, for Madison Rain, Impact Wrestling is, and uh, they don't need to look. Matt Stryker's right there. Matt Stryker is right there, ready to fill that role. All right, well, that's it for me. I'm going to say thank you very much for listening today. I am Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North, and we're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye, and stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.